Now I want to show you all how to perform Swedish massage on the neck and back. Remember, always grab some oil. Now, what we didn't show was our client turning over. So when we reposition our clients, we always want to make sure of their comfort level before we start the actual massage. Grab some oil. And what we want to do is applerage down the back. Remember, gliding strokes. We want to spread and glide. And then we want to come up to the shoulder. Now, this is where a lot of people hold their stress. So we want to pay close attention to this on most people. And then after you get your gliding strokes in, you want to petrissage. Now, right here on the shoulders, you can petrissage for quite a while just because you'll feel all these like crooks and crunchies. That's what we like to call them. And that's actually what we want to, that want, we want to work out because that's either toxic buildup or just tighten muscles. So we want to take our time. We actually want to go around a muscle which is called the scapula. A lot of back muscles are attached to the scapula. And you'll feel it. It's actually I like, I don't want to say horseshoe, but it's kind of like a horseshoe shaped muscle that's attached to our shoulder blade. So we want to pay close attention to that as well. So we want to go around that. We want to knead around that. We can use our fingertips, remember? Circular motions. And remember to do both sides because we don't want our clients to feel lopsided. Then we're just going to come around and we're going to do the back. The upper back and lower back are two totally different things just because sometimes people may just only have low back problems. So if someone says, oh my goodness, my back has been aching, you really want to spend more time on that. So remember, we still want to glide down the back. We still want to glide down. But also, we can use our forearms to kind of glide down and stretch that back out. And that's still afflerage. So once we glide down and stretch that low back out, we can still come around and knead and work those muscles out, work those kinks out. And that is how you perform Swedish massage on the back and shoulders. Thank you.